Good morning, a quick video for my classes on how to use my maths effectively uh, because some of you aren't going all the way to submit marks and it looks like you're not doing the work and I know that you are. So the lesson slides will often look something like this. There'll be a link to a lesson. There'll be a link to a worksheet. What you do is you click on the lesson and it loads up and it says, oh, please log in requires your school login so i'll hit level and it's that and i'm not going to say it obviously login and that will take you to the lesson eventually here it is so objective solving equations with variables on both sides you click on one it takes you through you use the next button to work your way down page and when you get to the bottom of the page you keep going you can see the steps on the little slider here it'll take you through it if you drag it that way or you click on next and this is instead of me standing at the front teaching you and it's not quite as good as me obviously but you know close enough and then when you get to the bottom of this bit you go on to part two and it's going to do it without the balances and this is the bit where I do the arrows down the, the middle with the stuff on the side instead of here. But it's still the same thing. And you get the same answer, of course. And you work your way down all the bits. And it gives you a little practice like it would with me in the lesson as well. And it all just hopefully works. And when you get to the end of this bit, what you need to do is go to the worksheet and the worksheet is really important. So when you click on worksheet, you've already logged in with the school account. So you don't need to do that again. It remembers you. If it doesn't remember you, OK, then you might need to do that bit as well. But now it wants your individual username and password. So I'm going to use 896 and this password, if I've remembered it right. And I'm going to log in and it's going to say, oh, Philippa Smythe, that's my daughter's name. I've set it up so I've got one that I can show you. And then what you need to do is 5x take 5 equals 9x plus 3 simplifies to one of these which. So what you do is you do the working on paper at the side like you would normally, and then you get one of these equations. Um, I think you get that one. And then you solve the equations and you know what i'm not going to spend time doing them in my head i'm just going to make up some answers you should do these obviously in writing on paper and then down at the bottom you click market and i oh i actually got one of them right that was a lucky guess wasn't it um and it tells me that I got four out of 15 for this question, which is a bit rubbish, but obviously I wasn't actually doing the work. You then click on question two at the side. And again, you do your answers. And you work out. I'm going to go with minus six for that one in writing on paper and then put the answers online because you can't do these in your head usually. Like this. Oh, goodness, fractions. You should be good at fractions, I hope. However you do it, you just work through the answers. And then I think the answer is 12 for that one. You click mark it. And again, I've done quite badly. Homework complete. Mark saved. See your summary. And by seeing your summary, it means that it saved the homework. What I'm going to do is go in and show you then what I can see as your teacher to see that you're doing the work. So if I now go to my maths and it's logged in because remember that I'm logged in. It isn't logged in apparently. So I'll click on login with our username and password. And I go to assessment manager. This is what I can do, you can't. And I log in there.
I can click on a class. This is the class with um, Philip in it, as you can see over this side, and I can look at the results. And it will tell me how everyone in the class is doing at everything. Uh, normally, there's a lot more names across the top here, of course. So that means I can see what you've done. I can see how you've done and I can see what more help you need. And hopefully that would then help with. Well, I know you've been doing the work and you know how you've been doing. So it's really, really important, please, that you go all the way through to the stage where you see the summary at the end, please. OK, all three stars down the side. If you have another go, it will do number of attempts two or three, and there's nothing wrong with doing it more than once. If you want to say, I want to get at least 80%, I'm going to keep trying it, and I'm going to go back through the lesson until I do, that is perfect. Well done. Okay, email me if you've got any questions at all.